25 matchup here in Tucson as number 18, Arizona, hosts number 21, Colorado. Taking a look at J.R. Payne's starting lineup, it'll be Jalen Sherrod, Tayana Jones, Frida Foreman, Arnett Bonley, and Quay Miller. Adia Barnes will roll out this starting lineup. Shayna Pellington, Lauren Fields, Jade LaVille, Esmeri Martinez, and Kate Reese. Reese has started every single game that she has been in here in a Wildcat uniform. Adia Barnes in her seventh season, assisted by Salvo Copa and Ashley Davis and Aaron Grant as well. Our officiating crew, led by Crew Chief Tiffany Bird, Kenneth Nash, and Kimberly Hobbs. J.R. Payne, also in her seventh season, assisted by Toriano Towns, Alex Earl, and Tim Hayes. Payne comes into this game with three wins against top 25 teams, but none on the road yet. That's a stat she would like to see change today. We are ready to jump it up at center court. More than... 8,000 tickets were sold before this game. I can't wait to give you the final attendance numbers. Tucson has been showing up and showing out for the Cats. Colorado leads the all-time series by 10, but the Buffs' last win in Tucson was a while ago, February of 2015. Colorado winning the opening tip. What are you looking for early here, Joan? Well, I want to see how much they get Quay Miller involved. And the other big thing, and Arizona did a nice job there. Arizona got out-rebounded by 19 on the road against Colorado. So they need to do a great job on the boards. Miller missing that three. So Arizona looking to get on the board first. Double-team comes to Kate Reese. She gets it out. Shot clock into single digits. Pellington loses the handle. Shot clock winding down. Martinez for three. Good Jones defense is there, there by the rebound. Buffs. Yeah, good defense and forced Arizona into a tough shot. Both these teams are excellent defensive teams. And sometimes uh, when you're a really good pressure defensive team, you, you love doing it, but you don't like people doing it to you. Shot clock into single digits for the Buffs. Miller surveying, spinning, and getting the shot to fall. Quay Miller's a talent, and she's really savvy around the rim. Great moves. I set a point forward. She thinks she's a guard. Well, her favorite WNBA player is Elena Deladon, if that tells you anything. Focus on taking good shots, and that's a, um, a miss there by Esmeri Martinez. She actually should have made... Sherrod calling out the offense. Sherrod spinning. Can't get it to go off the window. Martinez is there for the rebound. No surprise as she leads the Wildcats with nearly nine rebounds a game. Pellington. In and out. Yeah, she made those shots the other day, but I think here she was moving a little bit. So good defense there by the Buffs. Martinez almost came away with the steal. Sherrod bouncing inside to Vonley, and she gets the roll. Yeah, Vonley is tough. The transfer from Arizona, the sophomore, has been a force underneath. From West Lynn, Oregon, has really improved as a buff. Martinez triple is true. Hey, that's a good sign here for Arizona. Martinez was in big foul trouble on Friday, and they need to keep her in the game. Martinez is a senior, a senior that Adia Barnes wants to stay as Sherrod answers quickly. I like Sherrod aloud. She's really tough. Kate Reese bottled up by Vonley. LaVille in and out. Yeah, LaVille wants that three-pointer, and it, it's been missing the last few games. Vonley gets it to Miller, spinning, loses the handle, wanted a foul, didn't get it, and Pellington has one to beat, and they're going to get Sherrod for the personal foul for the first time today as LaVille takes a seat. Vonley with the tip, Freeman's got the handle, Foreman 
didn't get the foul. Quay Miller, rebound put back, no, but earns a trip to the free throw line. Kate Reese can't believe it. She's very versatile. She's also a transfer from Washington. I mentioned in the open, I know the buff fans and team would love her to stay. Yeah, J.R. Payne is re-recruiting Sherrod and Miller currently. Off on the second one, Martinez is there. Colorado rocking its second five-game win streak of the season. Shayna Pellington not impressed. Okay, you get a half step. Trying to go around Pellington. Foreman, three, no. Quay Miller, rebound, put back, yes. What a rebound by Quay Miller. Martinez has to do a better job boxing her out. She has a nose for rebounds and has been really instrumental in the early part of this game. J.R. Payne calling out for defense. Mayanaji just checked in, and now she's in the box score. Hey, the freshman facing up and scoring. Big basket. Four minutes to go here in the first quarter. Colorado up by two and with the basketball. Inside to Quay Miller. Quay spinning. Denied by Martinez, who picks up the foul. Tammy Blackburn is spearheading. Joan, I know you donated. I have as well. And we all know somebody who has been affected by cancer. Every little bit helps. Yeah, Tammy, stage four metastatic breast cancer, but she's not all about herself. She wants to pay it forward and help others. So proud to call her a friend. The Buffs are out rebounding Arizona 9-4, to four, but more than anything, they have three offensive rebounds. Pellington. Trying to find some daylight. Whitaker is there. Reese for three. You betcha. Big basket there by Kate Reese, the fifth-year senior. And as you mentioned, she has started every single game. She has been in uniform as a Wildcat. Adia Barnes first McDonald's All-America. Now got a roster littered with them. Nice finish. But the ball doesn't fall in a hoop. Najee running the floor well. What a great pass by Pellington, but I'll tell you, the freshman. Sherrod kicking it to Vonley. She leaves that short. Battle for the rebound won by Reese, and the Wildcats are on the run. Clark for three. And again, another freshman paying big dividends, showing her three-point range. She told me she loves to get to the rim, but you can't do that in college all the time. She is improving every single minute she plays. It's an 8-0 run for Arizona and another Colorado turnover as this Wildcats offense is cooking with gas. Pellington calling for the basketball. Kate Reese has a mismatch. She has Weta on her. And she's calling for the ball. It's a mouse in the house situation. Reese wants the basketball. <laughs> Almost threw it away. Pueyo gets it. Shot clock into single digits. Reese double teamed, puts it on the floor, and earns a trip to the free throw line. Pueyo has long arms, and here she goes. And Weta is a good defender, but there's a foul call. Two free throws here for Kate Reese. I asked her what her favorite Wildcat memories are. She said the run to the WNIT title and, of course, that final four trip as well. Shot clock and game clock almost the same here as the first quarter winds down. Sherrod picked up her dribble. She's got to get it out. Good help there by her post player, Von Ley. Sherrod trying to go around Najee. And I wouldn't be surprised if Arizona holds for the last shot here. And now Arizona will get into its set. Shot clock and game clock winding down. Connor off the back iron, and that is how the quarter will end. But Arizona, particularly their bench, they have seven points from their bench, has been very impressive. The freshmen look great.
Pellington with Sherrod right in her hip pocket. Pull-up jumper is good. She's feeling confident. I mean, it's hard not to after you've had such a big game on Friday. But she's really played well the last few games. Sherrod misses everything. Pellington has one to beat. Pellington, you betcha she's going to make that land. That was with style, confidence, and boy, that was big time right there. Weta just heaves it up, hoping yeah. for a whistle and gets it. She does get it, but I think Arizona, first of all, they need to be a little bit more patient. Weta, a 73% free thrower. I think she's going to be a super player. She gets them both. She had 10 points and five dimes last time these two teams met, but that was last month. Here in February, Arizona has turned the page. Cuello blocked by Vonley. And the officials... They just call that if you're going to swing on it. A very unusual miss there for Puello. She is the team captain, and she shoots 94% from the free throw line. <laughs> Misses them both, and we saw that Friday night from Madison Connor. Yes, Missed yes. her first two free throws in Pac-12 play all season long. You need to make them when you get them. 21 to 12, under seven minutes to go here in the second quarter, and Pellington with all kinds of room. Oh, she made that. She's so quick. Sadler answers. That was pretty coast to coast. Well, she was coast to coast, and she put a step on Gilbert. Gilbert needs to get back. Pellington says, oh, yeah? I'm going to make two in a row. How about you? That was pretty. What a stop by Martinez. Pellington's into double figures with 10 to lead all scores. Weta runs out of real estate. Martinez loses the handle. Weta ahead to Frida Foreman, who's checked back in. Foreman attacking and finishing. Yeah, it's the first basket here for Frida, Frida Foreman. Ball underneath, out of bounds for Arizona. Kate Reese quickly doubled, tried to kick it out. Great hands by Miller. Good defense there by the Buffs. They've been very good defending out of bounds plays today. And they threw that right to LaVille. She'll never come up with an easier still. She goes coast to coast. Big basket, and it's good to see Shane LaVille rewarded. And good timeout here by J.R. Payne. But right now, they're controlling the tempo of this game. Colorado is looking to make back-to-back -back NCAA tournament trips for the first time in 20 years. But what do you think the conversation was in J.R. Payne's huddle as another turnover? Arizona looking to finish this homestand 12-3 and at McHale and celebrate a second straight attendance crown as another turnover. Wow. Good defense, but you got to take care of the ball. Fake a pass to make a pass. Foreman jumper is good. Well, she's a player and has really improved her game. They've got to do a better job on Foreman because she can go. Colorado now has made three of its last three field goals. Martinez, terrific take. Terrific take by the senior transfer. She is a really good player. She's already in the 1,000 point and 1,000 rebound club. And of course, Adia Barnes wants her to stay here in Tucson for a super senior season. Battle for the loose ball is won by Colorado as Sadler is able to chase it down. Under three minutes to go, second quarter. Shot clock continues to roll, and what a finish by Sadler. Wow. Which is good news for Esmeri because Martinez stays at one, Sadler at the line, unable to complete the three-point play the old-fashioned way. Ball goes out of bounds and will stay with Colorado. That's a good hustle by the Buffs on the free-throw line. Kudos to the Buffs. Foreman, three. Off the mark, LaVille battling for the rebound. Pellington calling out the play. It looks like uh, the Buffs have switched defense and now in a zone. 
Martinez wide open. Pick them apart, pick that zone apart. Excellent passing and a selfish basketball there by the Wildcats. Miller against Martinez. The career high seven double doubles this season. She joined the 1,000 point scoring club against USC. Still having troubles at the free throw line are the Buffaloes now four of eight. And Arizona has a foul issues both Martinez and Kate Reese. Missed them both, but Whitaker comes up with the rebound. Again, that's good for the Buffs. Really bad box outs for Arizona. Under two minutes to go here in the second quarter. Joan Bombasini, Cindy Brunson with you. Sherrod bouncing it. Goes off of Miller's speed. Jump ball is called, and the ball will stay with the Buffs. Credit the defense for Arizona. Foreman with Clark in her hip pocket. Shot clock very low. Try to get it into Miller. Does. Blocked by Najee. One second on the shot clock. Great defense there by Najee. One second on the shot clock. Miller rising fires. Doesn't get it off in time. Missed everything and it doesn't matter because the Minnesota player of the year. A minute to go here in the second quarter. LaVille, three on the way. No, Foreman is there for the rebound. Adia Barnes coaching up her defense. Yeah, they think the ball's going to free to Foreman. And again. Weta's coming up to bring pressure, and she is quick. Under five seconds to go. Arizona wants to get off a shot. Pellington, three. Short, and that is how the first half will end. Arizona on top. Both teams did not finish the second quarter offensively very strong. We'll see if Arizona will be the one, or will the Buffs take over? We're underway here in the third quarter of play. Wildcats with the ball and the lead. Paris Clark getting the start here in the second half, as is Elena Pueyo. Martinez almost loses the handle. Shot clock winding way down. Clark blocked. And the Buffaloes have the basketball and are on the run. Sherrod didn't get the foul call. And here come the Wildcats. Martinez also blocked at the rim, but... Ball out of bounds underneath for Colorado. Or Arizona, rather. Pellington. Of course. She's still feeling it. And teams, you know, on their scout, they're saying go behind the screen. Full court pressure by the Wildcats. Quay Miller barely hanging on, getting it ahead to Foreman. Foreman swinging it. That was an easy lay in the easiest all day for Jones and the Buffaloes. Pellington misses everything. Yeah. Pellington. And I'm and just Nazi. waiting for Colorado to have a run here because basketball is a game of runs, scoring runs. So we'll see if they can put one together because they're getting opportunities. Sadler with Clark all over her. Try to get it into Vonley. Great hands by Najee. Somehow Miller gets it. Three on the way is good. First triple of the day for Colorado. Definitely first three of the day and well earned. You know, those are 50-50 ball and Colorado took advantage. And we got a scoring run here for the Buffaloes. Sadler with the three cutting into this Arizona lead. Connor dumping it off to Reese, off the window. Good pass there by Maddie Connor for the easy basket for her fifth year senior, Kate Reese. Vonley off the tip of her fingers. Frida Foreman says, that's okay, that's okay, shake it off. We'd like to see which team is gonna go on a scoring run here. I'm sure the Buffalo fans want it to be Colorado. We've seen an 11-0 run already today from Arizona. Three minutes to go here in the third quarter of play. Pellington stops, pops. Off the back iron. Good defense there by the Buffs. And no second shot opportunities for the Wildcats. Weta reversing, missing everything. Battle for the rebound is won by Pellington in the trees. Lauren Fields gets it back to Pellington, who earns a trip to the free throw line. Unselfish basketball. Well, I don't know if they're going to get to 80 today, but Pellington has been instrumental. 
I mean, you could get your point guard. Like, she's ex more experienced and playing better in every a aspect of her game. Jalen Sherrod with just two points on the day. She came in averaging nearly 11 and another Buffalo turnover. Pueyo gets it out to Clark. Two minutes to go here in the third quarter of play. Arizona looking to complete its ranked team sweep this weekend. Pueyo for three. That's gorgeous. Big time basket. Well executed. The best part if you're a Wildcat fan. Under two minutes to go here in the third quarter. Buffalo is looking for any kind of offense. Sherrod, corner three. Off the iron. Pueyo ahead to Pellington. What a finish! Shayna Pellington's got 17 points and a chance for more. What a pass by Pueyo. That's like a quarterback diming someone right over the head of the Colorado Buff. He never saw it coming, but oh my goodness. Wow. That was big time. Tremendous pass by Pellington, or rather finished by Pellington, as she completes the three-point play. She has 18 points. Pellington is so deep in her bag, she's done. Found the loose tic tacs at the bottom. Frida Foreman's three is off the mark. Ball goes out of bounds. Colorado just one of nine from three. It's an 11-0 run, the second of the day for Arizona. A minute to go here in the third quarter. Naji puts it on the deck, spinning and hitting. That was a great move with the left hand from the freshman. Yeah, and the Zeke brother said, Naji. hey, I taught you that in the backyard. Zeke loving it. You know they played a lot of one-on-one -on -one back in Minnesota growing up. Foreman has her pocket picked. Pueyo is all alone. Wow. I think she should have a bobblehead every day because she had a big one today. Shot clock and game clock almost the same. Sherrod leaving it for Sadler. That was nice. That was really nice. Pueyo ahead to Fields. Two seconds to go. Fields fires. Good if it goes. And it does not. Well, as we mentioned, Earlier in the game, this is the first time that both of her parents, Arlene and Dennis, are able to watch her in person. Career high 35 on Friday night against Utah. Najee doesn't get the role. And we're going to see if Colorado will make a run here. I think these first few minutes are very important. Vonley down low, fouled by Najee. <laughs> She scored in double figures in 17 straight, but in her last four, Joan held to single digits as she can't connect on the second. Lane violation against Arizona, so Vaughn. And there you go. Arizona has led by as many as 23 today, up comfortably here in the fourth quarter. Lauren Field stops, pops. Battle for the rebound. Out there by Miller. My goodness. A coach loves that, right? When the ball hits the floor. Oh, terrific. Coast to coast by Sadler. Buffalo's career high. 16 points against ASU where she was a perfect six for six from the floor. She completes the three-point play the old-fashioned way. LaVille. Offensive foul. Ball gets inbounded to Sadler. She's the only buff in double figures. Tried to swing it across the court, and Lauren Fields was there. Step through, stripped, whistle blows, personal foul. So Fields, just 47% from the free throw line on the season, started all but two games this season, and Coach Adia Barnes wants her to stay for another year. Was really instrumental in the win. Arizona now is going into a press. This is a zone press. A little bit different. We'll see if they take advantage here. Pellington goes down hard. 
Lay-in doesn't go. Weta with the follow. It's a 15-point lead. They're coming back, making a run. The lead was as big as 23. Sherrod creating a turnover. You know, just a few minutes ago, their extra effort rebounding hasn't played paid dividends, but they're trying right now. A little 7-1 to one run by Colorado. Weta earns a trip to the free throw line. And this is a fourth foul already for Arizona in this quarter. And the fifth one, they're shooting free throws all the time. Unfortunately, Weta didn't take an opportunity there to get some points on the board. Weta gets the second one to go. Well, right now in this quarter, Colorado is outscoring Arizona 8-1. to one. Fields. Stripped. I don't know how Sherrod came up with that basketball. Gets it to Sadler, and here come the Buffaloes. And it's Quay Miller with the finish. They haven't had many offensive rebounds, but get a good shot off. Because right now it's been forced. Pellington puts it on the deck and earns a trip to the free throw line. That was better ball movement there. And you put her in action and going to the basket. Pellington gets the roll on the first one. She's already joined at the 1,500 point career club earlier today. She did that in the first quarter with her first seven points on the board. And the free throw is no good. Lane violation. You know what's interesting about how J.R. Payne's built this team? They really don't have the five stars, but they are tough. These kids are tough. Sadler doesn't get the roll. That ball did everything but fall. She has blue-collar workers, and they have bought in. And they are going to play to the finish. They're not giving up anything. So you better protect the ball and get rid of it right away and don't show it to the defense. The line for the ice baths will be long after this game. Somehow Pellington gets it to Martinez. No shots. And an offensive foul is the call and the referees in the stands aren't happy about it. Well, let's see it. Uh, she's actually inside the restricted area. And so that's why I'm a little surprised this is called. Couldn't have gone any better for Arizona. A defensive player, and so there's a restricted circle. And you can get a charge, but your feet have to be outside that restricted area. And even if you're in position, it will be considered a block. So, so it says Mary at the free throw line where she shoots 71%. That no problem. She is not participating in senior festivities, and that's a big note to take note of because Adia Barnes is recruiting her like crazy to stay here in Tucson for a super senior season. Five minutes to go here in the fourth quarter. Colorado trying to dig out of a big hole. Sadler, no. Battle for the rebound. Won by Arizona. Bodies go flying. Kate Reese is in a lot of discomfort on the floor. Wow. Von Ley went to for that offensive glass. Thanks. You don't see it. someone just qualified very often. No. I tell you what, when it comes to calls we don't see very often, we have seen them all this weekend, Friday and today, here in Tucson. Kate Reese misses the first one, shooting 72% on the season. She misses them both. Uh, you've got to be smart. Don't pick it up till you're ready to pass because these guys are coming after you. Cuello, three off the window, doesn't go. Rebound put back by Martinez, does. You know, there haven't been a lot of offensive rebounds for Arizona, but that was a big one. Martinez now with a dozen points. Under four minutes to go here in the fourth quarter. It's a 6-0 run for Arizona that Weta will try to end, and she does. And they need her. The Buffs need her down the stretch here. Quick hand, smart player. 
Connor for three. Hoop wouldn't have it. Clark with the rebound, leaving it for Martinez, who's got 14. What a way to get an assist and another offensive rebound and get that nice basket there by Martinez. I tell you, Paris Clark is improving so much. She's such a talent. Colorado is winning this quarter 12 to 9, but Arizona is winning this game. Quay Miller with the nice finish. Connor, little floater. J.R. Payne pulling her starters from the ball game. As Connor makes the first. Arizona's largest lead of the day, 23, currently up by 18 with a minute to go. What a statement win by Arizona. Frida Foreman off on the triple try as Colorado just won for 11 from three today. Arizona came to play today. Arizona looking to split the home at home against Colorado and get a little get back from that sweep against the mountain schools on the road a month ago. Connor, triple. Weak side rebound, Martinez, fantastic. She's got seven boards to go along with 14 points. I like the offensive ball movement here by Arizona, even though they've missed. They're patient and they're smart. Gilbert needs to recognize there's only five seconds. 8,200 plus on their feet, and Connor gets it off the glass. Holy cow. You know you're going to win when you get shots like that. And the shot clock is off under 15 seconds to go. Colorado still working. And Martinez picks up the personal foul. Well, they've had a terrific season. Picked to finish 10th in the preseason poll. And they said, I'm having none of that. And right now, they're a clear third. As Elena Cuello will take a seat and gets the senior cheer. And Colorado is still pressing here. Shot clock is off. Five seconds to go. Clark will just hold it. And that will do it as Arizona gets the win. 61-42. Arizona beating the Buffaloes for a big straight.